Hey everyone! Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be tackling a topic that can be a bit confusing for some people. How to distinguish between the positive and negative terminals on a car battery. It might seem like a simple thing, but trust me, it's important to get it right. Using the wrong terminal can damage your car's electrical system, so it's crucial to know what you're doing. In this video, I'll walk you through the different ways you can identify the positive and negative terminals. We'll cover everything from the physical markings on the battery itself to using a multimeter to test the voltage. So, whether you're a seasoned mechanic or just starting out, this video is for you. Let's dive in and make sure you're always connecting the right wires to the right terminals. Hey everyone, today we're going to talk about how to tell which side of the battery is positive and negative. This is important to know for a few reasons. First, if you're ever jump-starting your car, you need to make sure you connect the positive and negative cables to the correct terminals. Otherwise, you could damage your car's electrical system. Second, if you're ever replacing your battery, you need to make sure you install the new battery with the correct polarity. Otherwise, your car won't start. So, how can you tell which side of the battery is positive and negative? There are a few ways. The most common way is to look at the color of the terminals. The positive terminal is usually red, and the negative terminal is usually black. However, this is not always the case, so it's important to check the markings on the battery itself. The positive terminal will be marked with a plus sign, and the negative terminal will be marked with a dash sign. Another way to tell which side of the battery is positive and negative is to look at the size of the terminals. The positive terminal is usually larger than the negative terminal. However, this is not always the case, so it's important to check the markings on the battery itself. Finally, you can use a multimeter to test the voltage of the terminals. The positive terminal will have a higher voltage than the negative terminal. So there you have it. A few ways to tell which side of the battery is positive and negative. I hope this helps. The negative terminal on a car battery is typically black, while the positive terminal is red. However, it's always best to double check before connecting anything to your battery, as some older batteries or batteries from different. Countries may use different color coding. When jump-starting a car, it's crucial to connect the jumper cables in the correct order to avoid damaging either vehicle. Here's the proper sequence. Connect the positive, plus symbol, jumper cable to the positive, plus symbol, terminal of the dead battery. Connect the other end of the positive, plus symbol, jumper cable to the positive, plus symbol, terminal of the good battery. Connect the negative, minus symbol, Jumper cable to the negative, minus symbol, terminal of the good battery. Connect the other end of the negative, minus symbol jumper cable to a clean, unpainted metal surface on the dead car, away from the battery. This helps ground the electrical system and prevents sparks near the battery. Important! Never connect the negative, minus symbol, jumper cable directly to the negative, minus symbol, terminal of the dead battery. This can cause sparks and potentially ignite flammable materials. If you're unsure about anything related to your car battery, the best resource is your owner's manual. It will contain specific information about your car's battery, including its location, type, and any special instructions for handling it. By following these simple steps and consulting your owner's manual when needed, you can safely and effectively distinguish between positive and negative terminals on your car battery